<laughs> hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot for the International Festival of the Arts 2022. We're gonna give you the grand tour and I plan on going around and trying something from every single booth at World Showcase and also show you all the other festival activities that they have to offer this year. Anywho's, let's go do this. First things first, we have to grab ourselves a festival passport. And other than some amazing food and some awesome art that you can purchase, there is a lot of cool activities here. One thing is the paint by number mural, where everybody gets to like paint by number and it creates an awesome mural that they'll actually showcase throughout the Festival of the Arts. And then also over here, they have a little chalk area where you can make your own art uh, with some chalk. So I think we're actually gonna do some of that right now. The chalk area over here by the land is basically for kids like you get to actually draw with chalk and I think that's really fun but adults can do it too so I would like to actually make a little something maybe I'll write my name I don't know I haven't wrote on the pavement with chalk in such a long time. So you grab yourself a little caddy right here. There we go I think I did good. I think I did a good job, but my fingers are all chalky now. And uh, there was no line to actually do that. But to do the paint by number, there is a pretty long line. Right here is the design that everybody's painting. And once it's complete, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be amazing. But like I said, the line is a little bit long, so we might actually have to come back and do this. But I do wanna do it because I feel like it's a tradition here for Festival of the Arts. Probably the most popular thing for the Festival of the Arts this year is the Figment Popcorn Bucket. People have been here since park opening and they've been waiting for several hours to get this popcorn bucket. And right now I hear it's a four to six hour wait just to get a popcorn bucket, but it is a really fancy popcorn bucket. It is Figment. The line is wrapping all the way around the front entrance of World Showcase. And this is almost halfway through right here. And wow, like I gotta say, I wasn't expecting this many people, but Figment is kind of like the icon of Epcot and the icon of uh, Festival of the Arts. Ooh, hi friends. <laughs> The sad thing is, is the popcorn buckets are being sold at an actual festival booth, Pop Eats. So if you want to get any of the food items, you have to wait in the two to four hour line. Since they're selling the Figment popcorn bucket at the Pop Eats stand, if you want to get in line to get a tomato soup with grilled cheese, then you're going to have to wait in the four hour line. That is so crazy, isn't it? So I don't think anyone's going to be getting any of the food unless they're here for the Figment popcorn bucket. And we're going to swing back later on to see if the line goes down. I said that they only have 300 cases, so they're going to sell out eventually. And I'm sure once we come back, we're going to be able to get some food from here without having to wait four hours. Another thing that I like that they do at the Festival of the Arts is they have all these great like photo opportunities around World Showcase and of course all the Disney fine art. So I'm going to show you some of the art. We're going to eat some of the food and uh, yeah, just enjoy a day at Festival of the Arts. Our first stop of the day is going to be here at the Mexico stand and my friend Lily has her own margarita here. So I had to come out and try it and I'm so excited to see what it tastes like. And we're also going to get a couple of the food items too because Mexico is like always my first stop. I always start in Mexico and then make my way around World Showcase. First things first, we're going to be getting my friend's margarita, the Lily. And I love it. Look at it. XO Lily. That's her signature on there. And I can't wait to try it. So here we go. Oh, that is so good. I can really taste the rose petal liqueur in there. I love it. She did a great job. She actually designed this drink. So I'm really happy to try it. I wanted to show you guys the ingredients to the Lily and it comes with Lily's favorite tequila and then right there is the rose petal liqueur. That's what I taste it like kind of off the bat and then cranberry and lime juice and it's a fire stick garnish and I don't know if the fire stick is edible but maybe we'll try a little bit later especially after we have the taco de chocolate which I'm probably most excited for. <laughs> Seriously, this is probably gonna be my favorite drink of the day and I don't even know if I'm gonna get many more drinks But this one right here. I'm definitely gonna come back and get another one 
here is a look at all the food items from the Mexico booth and they have so many amazing things like I am pumped for the carne asada and then also the taco de chocolate and it's a little chocolate candy shell filled with Mexican chocolate mousse and a touch of chili and some seasonal fruit and it looks so fancy look at it. it's like a little mini choco taco I think I'm gonna dive into the carne asada and I'm gonna grab myself some steak look at this this looks so good right and the little bit of the uh, cheese right here the griddle cheese wow I'm pumped you guys know how much I love my steak so I'm excited to have a little steak option here in the Mexico booth so here we go mm -hmm. now I'm gonna dive in to the what I like to call the Choco Taco and uh, we're gonna cut it up though because I want to share it with some friends there we go that's the way teamwork makes dream work yep get a little of that sauce a little of that fresh fruit all in one bite and perfect now it's time for the choco taco oh wow I saw that is good <laughs> Now, of course, I did say I want to try the fire stick because I do believe every single flower is edible, but it's whether or not it tastes good. So we're going to get a little of the lily on the, the top there. So here we go. A little fire stick. Hopefully it's edible. I don't know. Oh, it's actually really nice. It is. It's not like the lavender. I like this. <laughs> Of course, hanging out at an opening day event, we're going to run into a lot of friends. And uh, it's been fun so far. We have Kristen in right down Main Street. Then we've got Shannon with the Second Star Collective, JoJo, JoJo's World, and then dating at Disney. <laughs> so I'm so excited. And we uh, are just going to hang out and have fun all day long. <laughs> That's the good vibe. <laughs> My friend Trevor actually ended up getting a popcorn figment bucket. I think I said that backwards, a popcorn figment bucket. <laughs> Should it be a figment popcorn? Popcorn bucket, but how long did you have to wait? About three hours. Three hours? But it's worth it. Look at you look great, and you wore a purple shirt to match. Excellent. I love it. Well, thank you, Trevor. <laughs> now it's time to move along, and I was just talking about how I never see a festival booth in Norway. They had one a long time ago, but I haven't seen any recently. So the next stop is going to be China, and they have some good things on the menu. Here is the Painted Panda, and they have a lot of good offerings. They have the General Saul's Chicken Shumi, and at first I called it uh, Tsunami, but I think I'm saying it right now. And then they also have the Pork Bun, and I think I'm going to get myself a Pork Bun. Or maybe try the General Saul's though, because I do love that. So I decided on getting the General Saul's Shumai, which before I was kind of calling it Shumi and also Tsunami. And I also got myself the pork bun. So I'm excited. There's a lot of good food to offer and we've only made it to our second booth. Oh my Lord. Look at this. Oh, thank you. Wow. We're gonna start off by trying the pork bun here. And this looks so, so good. And I think this was here last year. I'm not too sure, but I remember having something like this. So we're gonna try it here. This is so good, but it does cost $8.50. So $8.50 for one. And I feel like that's a lot. Like I, I do feel like it's expensive and it's not worth the value like it's not very i mean the price is high but you don't get a lot for it you know what i mean there's a lot of better items here and i'm afraid to see what the prices are like when we get to the italy booth those are usually the largest like price scales actually so now we're gonna try the shumai here and it looks actually really really good how do you guys like my hack with the uh, chopsticks if you don't know how to use chopsticks just don't break them yeah, if you don't break them they kind of just work as folks but i do know how to use chopsticks but i think this is really fun this also was super expensive, but at least you get three of them, and it was over $10. So I'm excited to try it, though. Here we go. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Wow. There is definitely a little spice in there, but I did like it a lot. And I think this is probably my preferable one. I would get this again, the General Saul Shumai. And uh, now I guess we're gonna try the drink. And the drink looks so fancy, doesn't it? Now it's time to try the Sea Butterfly. And I'm not the biggest fan of boba drinks, but I, I, I don't like the texture of them. You know what I mean? But we're gonna give it a go. 
This is really good. I like this a lot, actually. I sipped it from the top at first, and I didn't like it, but if you actually get a good sip of everything, so, so good. This is definitely a very pretty, pretty drink, and a lot of people are walking around drinking it, so it is popular, and I'm glad we got to try it, but I think we're gonna move along from here. We've come across our first artist booth, and it's the Pop Gallery. And this one actually might seem a little familiar to you because it is terribly odd. And he is the artist that actually does all of the Gideon's artwork. How cool is that? So you can buy custom Gideon's artwork right here. So some of these are actually only sold here, but I love it. I think that is so cool. And a lot of people don't even know that this exists, but it would even be cool to come meet him because he's actually here meeting and greeting so you can bring some of your favorite Gideon's cards and he'll probably sign them for you. You guys know I'm a big fan of Gideon so it's really awesome to be able to see the artist here and I wish I could buy something right now. I didn't get to look at the prices too much and I'm also very cautious whenever I show art. Some of the boots here they actually have uh, a sign that says no photography or no video so we're gonna actually keep our eye out for that because we don't want people to like you know like we don't want to show off people's custom art. This is like the thing that they make and it's a living so we'll look out for that but that right there is so cool. The line seems so long today though. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get something from each stand, but I'm gonna try right here at the refreshment outpost. I know they have some special things. I think they have a plant-based bratwurst, but look at the line to actually get something from there. And this isn't even in like a festival booth. Here is the Germany booth, and they have a lot of good offerings too, including the red wine braised beef short rib. Now this was my favorite, I think, last year. It was so, so good. And then also they have the Alper cake, and this is also a really good cake, and it's kind of like a coffee, like buttercream, kind of like a tiramisu cake. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get anything this time, because it does look like the line is like, like I said, they're very, very long, but we're gonna assess the situation. Usually the lines aren't like this. This is just like a opening day kind of thing. I mean during peak season, but as we get later into the day, I'm sure the lines are going to go down a little bit. So if we have to make two laps, we will. And I'll try to try a little bit of everything. And for now, I think we're going to hop over to Italy. We're going to go to the Italy Pavilion, which I told you before, they have like the highest prices out of any of the food booths here. So it'll be interesting to see what they got going on over there. Sadly, we come upon the Italy stand and the line is worse than Germany. Now before, you remember I was telling you that the items were the most expensive of the festival and holy moly, it's not stopping people. Like they're here to get their stuff. As you can see, the arancini's $14, the ravioli's $13, and I think you only get three raviolis maybe so you're getting three raviolis for $13 so it's it, and wow I'm shocked they also have multiple registers too so it's not like just one register there's three registers there and holy moly <laughs> Another really awesome thing that actually happens during the Festival of the Arts is all the Joffrey stands has like a special drink and this year they're doing cereal coffees and they're all different ones. So we're coming up to the uh, Joffrey's by the American Adventure and it's called the Rainbow Dreams and it's kind of like a Lucky Charms coffee or Lucky Charms cold brew and I need to get it. So we're going to hop in line for that and hopefully it's not going to be as long as Italy and Germany and then we're going to move along to Japan and there's a lot of other good like stops to get some good food items here it is right here the rainbow dreams cold brew and it looks like lucky charms on top and i'm so excited this looks so so good and here it is look at this bad boy this is so fun looking here we go, it's time to try it. And I wanna eventually try all the cereal coffees here at Epcot. Now that's gonna be something I'm probably gonna have to spread out. Luckily this festival is going on for some time, so we're gonna have the opportunity to try them. But here we go, the Rainbow Dreams. Oh, it's good. I mean, it's just like a regular cold brew coffee. It, it, it just tastes like cold brew, and I'm sure you just get this added benefit of like eating cereal afterwards. So it's kind of like coffee and cereal, just conveniently in one cup. I would assume that once you actually drink a lot of the coffee and the whipped cream and the cereal gets down there, I bet you it's going to taste really good. But the coffee itself don't taste like Lucky Charms. It just is like the regular Joffrey's cold brew. But it's still very, very good and I'm excited. I'm excited to get it all finished up. 
no. what are they saying that So now we're mixing it around, that's the way. Look at it, it looks like a bowl of cereal. Sure <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It looks like a bowl of cereal. I think you're onto something here. I think you unlocked something. Wait a second. <laughs> I gotta do this. Maybe I gotta take a sip first. All right, we're gonna try mixing it around here. That was the trick, I think. There we go, get those marshmallows down there. All right, and now we're gonna give it a sip. Now we're gonna try it all mixed together. Much better mixed all together. Mm-hmm. Now we're coming up on our first artist photo opportunity and that's here in the American Pavilion and I think we're actually gonna do it as a big group and we actually joined up with more friends Jackie super enthused and promise promise hope so we got we got a big group growing here Happy Festival, Happy festival of the Art Day <laughs> I don't know it sounds like quite We gotta look that way though don't we? <laughs> Another thing you have to be on the lookout for is some Disney art in each of the pavilions and usually it has to relate to the actual movie or movies that have to relate to that pavilion. So we're in Italy and they actually have some Luca art by a water fountain and I kind of think that's a little clever. If you haven't seen the movie Luca, I suggest you do. I actually really do love this movie and they have all this artwork right here by the water fountain and I think I'm gonna take a sip. I'm gonna have a little Luca water. <laughs> no Bruno, no Bruno. Our next stop is gonna be here at the Japan stand and I'm gonna try the sushi donut. Now this isn't something new, it's been on the menu for a while and I'm not the biggest fan of sushi but I really do wanna experiment and try different things and I figured if I'm gonna experiment with sushi, might as well try it while it's a donut. So we're gonna get that and then also maybe one of the drinks. I am a little bit nervous about trying the sushi donut, but I'm so excited to try it. And Come on, you've tried sushi before? But not sushi, donut. not sushi donut. Not sushi donut. I have tried it before and I was like not the biggest fan. But to get something to drink with the sushi donut, they have the personalized wooden cups that you get sake in it. So I had to do it. I'm so excited. Morrow. There it is. That's mine. That's yours. And it, what's the other? And it says paging Mr. Morrow. That's Look so at cool. that. Look I love it. Oh yeah, little Mickey. And we're gonna get this full of sake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and here they go. They're filling up our sake cups. Oh, I love it. All right. So is this promise? Yeah, that's, that's me. That's sake. you, Jackie, super enthused. Oh, I like how she put mini ears for you guys, and then Mickey for me. That is so awesome. I am so excited. So, so cool. And here's our sushi donut. <laughs> and now it's time to enjoy some sake. Goodbye. Come by. Goodbye. <laughs> We're drinking out of a wooden box. <laughs> oh, this is good. You can taste a little woody. It's a little woody. This right here was only $13, and you get a nice personalized box, and it comes with the miso sake. I think that's what they called it, and I like it. I'm, I'm like really excited about this. I get it every single year, so this is like my fifth box. Or how many Festival of the Arts have there been? Five so or four? It started in 2017. So four, right? Yeah. Or five? The fifth one. The fifth one, yeah. yeah. Fifth year, so I have five boxes, I think. <laughs> and I will cherish every single one of them. Yeah. I do have to say it is a little difficult to drink out of though because like you're drinking out of a corner of a box. Yeah, you need the corner. Yeah, like you're, you have to hit it in the corner. Yeah. So you'll definitely have a little spillage. All right, now it's time to try the sushi donut. And I pulled out my chopsticks, but I think I'm gonna eat it like a donut. But you kind of have a little bit of a uh, different bite all the way around the donut. They even have a little sesame seeds here. And I was joking around and I said they should call it like a sushi bagel instead. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know where to start, so I guess I'm just gonna... Oh Lord. I'm gonna try to pick it up. I don't know if this actually works like that. I don't know if it works like that, but we're gonna find out. All right, here we go. I'm gonna eat it like a donut and I'm gonna eat sushi. I think that's the biggest shocking thing here. So I'm just <laughs> kind of bite it. But once they take a bite, it might fall apart. Yeah, that's the thing. It will oh fall boy. apart. Oh boy. Okay, we're going for it. Here we go. <laughs> it didn't fall apart. We'll I'm gonna try the tuna now section. And I don't think I can 
pick it up anymore. <laughs> it will definitely fall apart. But it was a one-time pickup. Yeah, it was a one-time pickup. <laughs> and now I'm gonna try some of the different sauces here. What are the sauces? It's duck sauce, duck sauce, and like a wasabi sauce. Oh, a wasabi the sauce, wasabi duck sauce. Favorite. Okay, can I do a little bit of everything? Yeah, that's what you do. And this is kind of where the festival of the arts takes in because it's kind of like painting mm -hmm. with all the sauce. There we go, and also making it fall apart. <laughs> Here we go, a little bit of everything on one bite with all the sauces, and uh, so far it's not that bad. Like I, I don't like sushi. I wouldn't get it again, but if you do love sushi, I can definitely see people liking this a lot. <laughs> My favorite thing has to be though, the wooden cups. I would pay just for these wooden cups. So cheers guys. Cheers. We're the wooden cup sake gang. Yes. <laughs> the wooden cup sake gang. And this is like the traditional way to drink sake. Now it's time to move along to my most anticipated food booth and it's the Encanto booth here between Morocco and France and if you guys seen the movie I really do love it and they have so many amazing things I'm gonna show you the menu real quick because they have tons they have a house made chorizo and potato empanada they have some spicy soup a passion fruit mousse and then they also have a frozen pina colada and a passion fruit daiquiri and it comes in a little collectible cup so I'm excited to try these we ended up getting a little bit of everything because they have so many great offerings and I'm just gonna kind of show you it all. Like, this is really, really awesome. Here is the chorizo and potato empanada and then this is the passion fruit mousse. There's so many great things and then the spicy soup and I like the little spoon, the Festival of the Arts spoon that they actually sell. And then here are the drinks. Now I don't know, are these the uh, alcoholic version? Non-alcoholic. Non yeah. Huh. Here is the Epcot Festival of the Arts cup that you get with the passion fruit smoothie and I'm excited to try it. This looks so festive, like very nice. Now there's no alcohol in this either. Oh that's good. That is good. I can taste coconut. I don't know why, but I like it. This is really, really good. Now I'm gonna try the empanada and I'm excited because it looks so so good and I love chorizo too So we're gonna get a little uh, forkful here Here we go. I hear great things about the empanada here, so I, I kind of expect great things because the way it looks That is great Wow I can honestly say I think this is my favorite food item of the festival. This is so good and I'll definitely be back to try some of it. The soup looks good too. A lot of corn in there and uh, yeah I'm excited. And Canto really like hit it out of the park. And also we didn't even touch the dessert. No. We didn't even touch it yet. <laughs> now we're gonna try the passion fruit mousse here. and get a little bit of that on top. This looks so so good and festive. Definitely good for the uh, Festival of the Arts. Oh, what's in the center there? We just discovered it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's, it's like a cherry or yeah. something red in the middle there. <laughs> that must be the dragon fruit jam. So we didn't get a lot on this plate, but we'll try it eventually. So here we go. Hi, how are you? <laughs> she wanted to know how the dragon fruit jam was. <laughs> tart. Very tart. It is very moussey, not so cakey. Definitely could use a little bit more cake. But I do, I mean, it's okay, but it's not my favorite, I can tell you that. I think at the end of the video, I'm gonna try to recap some of my favorite things that I got to try today. And it's always good coming to like the opening day of a festival because you get to try a whole bunch of different items and experiment so you know when you come back which ones you wanna get. And also I wanna show a little bit more of the art. Sometimes, like I said, you go past the art booths and they're very busy and uh, it's all about the art. It's a festival of the arts, you know what I mean? Now it's time for our next booth and it's a festival classic, the deconstructed dish. And there is a couple of new items on the menu. They have a deconstructed key lime pie, a deconstructed French onion soup, a deconstructed BLT, no more deconstructed Reuben, I know that was very popular, and also a deconstructed apple pie drink. So I, I think we have to do it. This is like a like classic. This is a staple for Festival of the Arts. Now I think we're gonna try the deconstructed key lime pie. Now this one I was super excited to try. I do miss the uh, deconstructed cheesecake, but this is gonna be good. Like it looks so, so good. Here it is. And I think the best way to do it is try to kind of construct it. 
So we're gonna take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, maybe a little bit of this. Like, you know what I mean? I'm trying to, I don't know how to actually de- Oh, this is like a mousse. So there we go. Gonna just swap that right there. Try to get a little bit of that on top of that. And I think that'll do it. I think now we have constructed a key lime pie. I almost feel like I just did a magic trick. I took a deconstructed pie and I constructed it back together to have an ultimate bite. Wow, that is good too. Festival of the Arts is hitting it out of the park with the desserts. Seriously? Oh my, I don't know which one's my favorite though. It is so tough. Something I noticed we've been missing is beer. We haven't had any beer here at Festival of the Arts and they actually have a Neapolitan beer flight. So a little bit of vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. And I think that is so amazing. I have to try it because it's so like colorful. And then also look at all the amazing desserts they have here too. These are so, so cool. This is such a clever beer flight for the Festival of the Arts. I really do love it. A little chocolate, a little strawberry, a little vanilla, and I can't wait to try them. I'm gonna actually show you the card too. Here is the card itself, and you can see it goes strawberry blonde nitro, and then a vanilla porter, and then the milk stout. So this is such, like I said, I really, really do love it. So I think we're gonna try strawberry first. I'm gonna guess that this is the strawberry one, but I really can't tell, but you figure strawberry would be the clearest, and the vanilla is a uh, porter or a stout, so that's gonna be a little bit darker, so we're gonna try it out here. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Now we're gonna try the vanilla porter. A little vanilla porter. And it's gonna be like vanilla ice cream. Oh, that is good, I like the vanilla porter. And now for the milk stout. Little milk stout. The vanilla porter is a win. Yeah, that's the one. I wish the color scheming would be a little bit more like colorful, but what can you do with stouts and porters? You really can't really make them like a vanilla color. You know what I mean? But I really do appreciate this flight just because of what it is. You know what I mean? It's not like the best beer flight I've had, but it's such a great concept and that's why I love it. It's a great concept for Festival of the Arts. And uh, yeah, it was fun. It's really awesome being with the big group of people because it gives me the opportunity to show you guys some of the desserts and a lot of the food items that we actually had earlier without having to order them. So like we can kind of share them but not like actually share them. Like things I wouldn't normally order, I'm able to show you guys. And now we can show you some of the desserts that they actually have in that booth that I said looked really pretty. Here are some of those desserts. Here is the decadent one. And this is a dark chocolate mousse, a chocolate brownie, and molasses. And look at that. This is so pretty. This is like the prettiest dessert I think I've seen. And then this is the dolce chocolate mousse. And this also looks so good. It actually has a little gold flake on there. Look, you can see the gold flake kind of moving in the wind. But these are really, really fancy. And they're kind of so pretty, you don't want to ruin them. We're gonna dive in and try this one right here. And this, like I said, these look so fancy. Ooh, it's got a little crisp to it. <laughs> so here is the Gold Flake de Leche, and I can't wait to try it. Like, these look so fancy. Wow. Holy moly. Now we moved on to the Canada booth and they actually have a roasted bone marrow and I've never had bone marrow before and it's always been something I've been interested in trying so it looks like today's the day it's served with an onion marmalade pickled mushrooms some lettuce and bone marrow snow I don't even know what bone marrow snow is but it sounds cool but bone marrow snow yeah. paging Mr. Morrow eat some marrow <laughs> paging Mr. Bone Morrow this is truly something else right here. I have never had bone marrow before, but I'm so excited to try it. Like, look at it. It is like a huge bone. <laughs> Sean's gonna try the bone marrow first. You're gonna let me know. I'm not a big fan of the feeling of me just scraping something in the bone. It just feels like I'm in an animal's leg or something, but. <laughs> It's good. It has definitely a good flavor to it, but the texture and the like the experience. Yeah. My <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try mine now. <laughs> Here we go. I got it all scooped up on the bread, and it's time to try it. And I'm excited. Like I'm super excited. Look at it. It's kind of just hanging there. 
Okay, I like it. <laughs> yeah, that was my face as well. Promise? Some people don't like the moan marrow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm eating part something, of the bone. I, <laughs> I went looking for my bone marrow and Maria like grabbed all the bones. Maria grabbed all the bones and she's like hoarding, hoarding the bones over there. Bone marrow. <laughs> after experimenting with bone marrow, uh, I kind of liked it. I mean, after like two or three times, it was really, really good. And now I think we're going to go catch some Broadway because they do have Broadway performances for the Festival of the Arts back in America. So we're going to make our way back there now and I think it's Aladdin tonight. So this is going to be really interesting because this is Adam Jacobs and the original Jasmine. So you have the original Aladdin and the original Jasmine from the Broadway uh, Aladdin. And they're going to be performing some of their best hits here. And I'm so happy that we got to come and check it out. So they're just playing the music before the Broadway actually starts and I'm getting all pumped up. Like, look at <laughs> We are so excited to be here with you live and in person. And in person. Yes, and to be opening the fifth season of the Disney on Broadway concert series! Yes! Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys know this, or heard, or uh, maybe already know, but Ariel here starred as Jasmine and Aladdin on Broadway. Yeah. And I don't know if you know, or heard, or already know, but Adam created the role of Aladdin in Aladdin on Broadway, okay? Yes, thank you. Uh, we are so truly honored to be a part of the Disney on Broadway family and excited to share a few of Disney's hits with you tonight. It's really awesome to see the Broadway with the fireworks. Look at that. I can show you the world. Oh. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart aside? I can open your eyes, take you wonder by wonder, over sideways and under, on a magic carpet ride, a whole new world.
awesome was that? I love the fact that I kind of came in knowing that we'd get a lot of Aladdin songs because you know what I mean? They were like stars of Aladdin on Broadway, but we got a little Lion King, High School Musical, Freaky Friday. It was amazing and I loved it so much. And we made our way back over to Pop Eats at the end of the night and it looks like there's still a four hour wait to get the popcorn buckets, but they're still selling them though. But a lot of people still waiting. I would bet it's probably like a two hour wait. I wouldn't say it's four hours. I wonder if we can ask somebody. Yeah. How long you guys been waiting for? Two hours? Two? An hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, just about one hour. That's not too bad. So an hour wait. Whoa. And it finally looks like they cut off the line right here. And they didn't cut off the line because they ran out of popcorn buckets. They cut off the line because the wait would exceed how long the park is open till. So they uh, said you can come back tomorrow, 9 a.m. They're going to be opened up. And uh, they still have popcorn buckets for tomorrow. So it's pretty shocking. I'm so happy to see this photo pass opportunity back, especially with the new Spaceship Earth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to show you guys how those pictures came out and they're so awesome look at this I love it these are my friends right here but isn't it it's the best photo pass opportunity ever so so cool I'm happy they brought it back and with that, I think we are done here today. I had such an amazing day hanging out with friends, getting to try so many different food and drink options. It was so amazing. And I have to say my favorite drink probably is the Lily. I loved it, it was so good. Favorite food item of the night, probably the chorizo and potato empanada. And we're definitely gonna do like a round two. We didn't get to do a lot of the boots, so we did a good fair amount, I think we did 50%. So there's gonna be definitely a part two for the Festival of the Arts. I'm sure this is gonna be a long video, but I had so much fun. And once the crowds actually go down a little bit, today it was very difficult. The lines were like almost 45 minutes just to get food, uh, and almost all of them. Like, you know what I mean? There was a six hour wait for a popcorn bucket. And eventually, I might get a popcorn bucket. Tomorrow, they said that they're gonna be still available. Uh, they cut it off today just because of the wait time. But uh, maybe a popcorn bucket in the future for me, who knows? And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!